For several decades, the German tank has kept up with the times. And thanks to constant updates, it is still able to strike fear and panic into the enemy. In this video, I want to tell you about the pride of German military engineering, the main NATO battle tank, the Leopard 2. I will tell you how this armored beast was created, its main characteristics, combat experience, and what is known about its delivery to Ukraine. The Leopard 2 has been in service since 1979. It's a third generation tank. The manufacturer is one of the giants of the German military industry concerned Krauss Maffei Wegmann GmbH. Over the years, it has been upgraded, re equipped, and even undergone a facelift. The latest modification of the 2A7 Plus was made in 2010. If you look at all the modifications of the tank up to the A4, you immediately think a box by a box. And it was only starting with the Leopard 2A5 that the Germans started to try to get away from the boxy look in some way. Leopard 2 is quite unwieldy and heavy. The length of its hull is 7.7 .7 meters, its width 3.7 meters, and its height 2.8 meters. The weight is 63 tons. Impressive. There are more benefits to this tank. The Leopard 2 has a powerful armament, a 120 mm Rheinmetall smoothbore gun with modern ammunition and two machine guns. The ammunition consists of 42 shells, 15 of which are located in the aft niche, and the remaining 27 are all located along the port side. The ammunition includes a sub-caliber BOPS-type DM-43 or shape charge projectiles such as the DM-12. These projectiles can penetrate about 600 to 700 millimeters of armor at a distance of 2 kilometers. The gun is stabilized in two planes, but there is no automatic loader. Therefore, there are three men in the tank's crew compartment, commander, gunner, and loader. However, the tank has a superb Zeiss sight, effective fire control system, thermal imagers that provide all-around visibility for all crews, a fire extinguishing system, and multiple layers of armor. The Leopard 2 is equipped with a MTUM 873 KA501 diesel engine with 12 cylinders and liquid cooling. It is powered by 1100 kilowatt, 1500 horsepower, allowing it to reach up to 72 kilometers per hour. The German Leopard 2 is the main battle tank in Europe, a replacement for the American Abrams, with similar characteristics, but at a much lower price. For example, the penultimate Leopard 2A6 costs $6.79 million, and the Abrams M1A2 SEP costs $8.5 million. The British Challenger 2 already costs $8.6 million. So let's talk about what is known about the delivery of these tanks to Ukraine. For a long time, there have been discussions about giving German tanks to the Ukrainian armed forces. Earlier, Olaf Scholz said that Germany does not want to allow the war to spread. The Chancellor then agreed to provide tanks to Ukraine, but only on the condition that the United States provide Abrams to the Ukrainian armed forces. On January 18th, the European Parliament called on Scholz to urgently transfer Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine. Also on January 20, during Ramstein 8, failed to agree on the delivery of Leopard 2s to Ukraine. After that, memes about German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, who is blocking the provision of Leopard tanks to Ukraine, began to be actively created online. Eventually, the German government announced its decision to transfer Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine. On the morning of January 25th, Olaf Scholz announced the decision to transfer 14 tanks to Ukraine. On the same day, U.S. President Joe Biden announced the transfer of 31 M1 Abrams tanks. Earlier, Polish President Andrzej Duda said his country would supply Ukraine one company of Leopard 2 tanks. There are 14 vehicles in one tank company of the Polish army. Confirming this, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmytro Kuleba announced that five countries have agreed to deliver their Leopards to Ukraine. According to Defense Express, they are Finland, Germany, Sweden and Spain, in addition to Poland. Moreover, the Independent quoted its sources as saying that British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak decided to give Ukraine a tank company of 12 Challenger 2s. All in all, this is an impressive power. But what is known about the combat experience of this tank? Let's talk about it now. The Leopard 2 got its first chance to be tested in the Balkans. During the events on the territory of the disintegrating Yugoslavia, German tanks took part in various operations and events on a regular basis, sometimes coming under fire from the enemy. Next came Afghanistan. 
There too, the Leopard 2s served with dignity, even though there were some serious incidents involving them, but only when the tanks ran over mines and improvised explosive devices. The most serious losses occurred when the Leopard 2 participated in the Syrian War. The total losses were 10 tanks, all destroyed by anti-tank systems. What is your impression of this tank? What do you think about this? Will the Leopard 2 help Ukrainians? Please share your thoughts with us. Also, if you liked this video, please like it, subscribe to the channel, and enable notifications to stay in touch. We'll see you soon.